All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, Great Millstone, also known as GMS. And salutations to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing this word of sincerity and the truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. This is your brother Banyanyan from GMS, Mississippi. Uh, today I have an in transit video going into uh, the topic of prayer and believing uh, this thought or this concept or this particular topic was inspired by Elder Apostle Ariana's video going into Don't Be That Dude and what came along with that was pretty much praying until you how about shimmy how shot for those things that you may be lacking whether it's wisdom whether it's topics with videos whether it's being slothful or whatever spiritual imbalance that you have you pray unto the heavenly father to pretty much bless you in that particular area so you don't want to become stagnant or complacent with whatever slump or slumber that you may be in at the moment because that's all it is and even a man that's on fire feels as though sometimes the heavenly father is not dealing with him so how much the more the man who has uh, lesser works so to speak you know but how you know that the heavenly father is dealing with you and hasn't taken his spirit his holy spirit from you is that you're always doing something you're always meditating upon his word upon his ways you're always uh meditating on the the state of the estate of the brothers around you you're always meditating upon uh different topics different subjects just spiritual things always just spiritual things so the heavenly father is not slack concerning the promise that he gave unto our our forefathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob but at the same time it says blessed are he that readeth and you have to study to show thyself approved so as you become mature in this labor it's almost like being a veteran on a job or being experienced on a job you know you got people that have been on a job 5 10 15 20 years those more seasoned workers they know the shortcuts they know how to take it easy. They know how to, to still ab abide and get the work done. And they know how to completely just, you know, BS the system. But when it comes to this to this truth, the Heavenly Father said that you have to either be hot or cold. Now you can maneuver, you got your downtime and different things of that nature, but you, when you find yourself lacking, you have to pray to the Heavenly Father to reignite that flame and kind of just continue to to bless you with wisdom knowledge and understanding because it's out there and even though the scriptures are something of old every time you read them or every time you go into them it's like it's a it's it's, it's a refreshing because everything is anew all of a sudden a different concept on it a different meaning to it a different breakdown for it it's the same breakdown, but it may be broken down a different way. So it keeps it thrilling. It keeps it exciting. Because why? Because this is our comforter. So it, it, pursuant to the scriptures, if any of you lack wisdom, pray unto the Heavenly Father who give it unto all men liberally. You know? And as it is written, it says, ye have not because ye ask not. The churches use that in a prosperity manner. Looking for cars and fame and clothes and businesses and meet millions of dollars in their accounts it's not talking about that but even at the same time when you pray to the heavenly father for spiritual things he'll bless you with those carnal things you know it's a perfect it's a perfect balance your spiritual father in heaven you plead unto him and beg unto him as though you did the same unto your physical father on earth when there was things that you were in need of and things that you wanted you did what you pleaded, you begged, and you did what he asked of you. And the Heavenly Father, hey, he made it, made us in his image. So it pleases him to give unto us those things that we ask of, of him when we please him. You know, so sometimes it simply boils down to, 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 to doing the right thing. But as it is written, faith without works is dead. So if you don't have any works to go along with your faith, then you're in balance. And it says an unbalanced and unjust weight is an abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. 
So there's going to come those particular times where your flame in the spirit needs to be rekindled. It may become a time where you feel like it has dwindled out. It may come times when you feel disconnected, you know. And it's a simple, 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 simple thing to do it. Just do it. So if you're like, man, I haven't done a video, you know what? Open up the book. Start at one, one verse. Pray to Yahweh Shem Shai for you started that it may be inspired through the Spirit. Pick you one verse and watch how the Spirit will flow. You know? And you'll know when it's not flowing. And you don't have to upload it. You don't have to upload that video, but it's going to inspire you like, you know what? That one didn't go right. That one didn't go right. And you either go back to back or now you're inspired to write down some scriptures to get a lesson together. You know? Because you're disappointed when you can't perform properly. Right? And when you read the book of Judges, it says what? That we are rehearsing. So this is a rehearsal. So when we go to perform the true works and labor of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai, we want it to be perfect. But at the same time, you got to remember that this is always a rehearsal. And we're trying to get it right. And the, 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 the best thing about that is that when you look around about you, who else is trying to get it right? Nobody but those brothers and sisters out there that are, are sincere and desiring to be able to hopefully let. Every other person outside of that is not desiring to do absolutely nothing. And that's what sets you different. That's what sets you aside. And that's what sets you off as, as, as a potential of the Heavenly Father's hopefully elect. But at the end of the day, we have to endure until the end. But you still can understand the concept on doing something versus doing nothing. Nothing ever yielded results. So nothingness is not going to get you salvation. You know? Even in the world they got this term, they say, what have you done for me lately? When your house shot comes back, if you're a slothful servant, or if he said, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity, for I never knew thee, then you're going to know <laughs> at that moment what your works consisted of. So as it is written, you know, we can't exceed the, the uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so therefore we can't, we can never go far enough. So, it, it, it just simply put, just do it. Whatever you're lacking in, just do it. You know, because you have these different slothful demons, or you have these different uh, discouraging demons. You got these low self-esteem demons. And not only is Israel the salt, of, the salt of the earth, but the Most High is hopefully let. That's a whole separate class right there. So you got to be, be happy, not e egotistical, not arrogant, not proud, but you have to be on a higher level in understanding and knowing that, that man, the Most High blessed me with this. The Most High gave me some talents. And these evil and wicked doers, they are talentless. They may have talents in the world, but they don't have any talents. They don't have any spiritual gifts. And that's all praise to the Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah for that. So, you know. So even to sum it up, hearing that video is inspiration and motivation to me. Uh, because at the end of the day, you just want to be great. <laughs> you want to be perfect. You're an imperfect man in an imperfect world seeking perfection. Hey, so with that, a hey, most high willing, the edification was there, the point was made, and until next time, I'll say Shalom.